Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is from Mini Mysteries, a medieval mishap. This is an escape room slash puzzle challenge type game that comes in this manila envelope. Basically, you purchase from the website, they send it to you in this, you open it up, and then you get a ton of different things to play the game. This is a once playthrough that uses not only all of this here, but there's also a website you can go on that's going to have a full narration as well as a ton of puzzles and clues that you'll be utilizing what you have here as well as what is on the PC or your phone or tablet to try and solve the mystery. They're all immersive and engaging and have a narrative system that goes from A to B with choices along the way. In this one specifically you have lost an agent from your time traveling um, like in, in investigation type thing and you're basically trying to figure out what happened to her and she left with a, a knight back in the medieval ages and we have to figure out what knight and why and it progresses a story as you progress through the game utilizing all the charts and graphs and maps that come within this project here. We'll talk about the basic idea of setup, which is very simple, how to play the game, and then of course our review. Setup for the game Mini Mysteries is very, very simple. Basically, you'll open up this envelope and dump everything out on the table. You're gonna get this thing that says open first, which you will then open up. It's going to come with instructions as well as maybe something else, and then you're going to go ahead and read it. You'll unravel this piece of paper here, and it will start with to whom it may concern. And it'll go through uh, basically the uh, idea of the story, as well as an internet site that you can go to that is going to also have a username and password specifically for you, and that will start your story up. You'll be utilizing clues and hints just to even get into the site. But once you do, you'll have a full narrative story with you and that will take you from step A to B to C all the way to the end of the narrative. Each of these little portions on the things that you get within this envelope here are gonna have a number or a letter on them, and it will associate with a different story or different puzzle that you'll be participating in, whether it is learning about how many people need to be fed at a feast, or where the jousting took place, or what her horse came in first, second, or third place, and so on and so forth. And as you solve these puzzles, you'll progress. So just simply take everything out that's within reach that hasn't been that doesn't need to be opened instantly, and of course open the open first envelope and begin the game by starting on the PC. Now playing the game you basically got it. I've explained it as far as you probably need to know is you start with the PC the username password logs you in there's a narrative story with a character that teaches you about what the game is and like who they are and who you are and what your objective is and what your first pieces of information will need to be in order to continue throughout the game and it's a linear structure. You go from point A to point B solving puzzles looking at maps and dials and different compasses and different portions of the, of the game and um, each of these different games is unique. This one here is a medieval one. So basically there are a bunch of medieval puzzles and word puzzles and number problems and solving equations and all that good stuff. And you just progress throughout the story until it, it ends and you complete it. You'll have about an hour to complete the story. Most of them have a timer of some sort. And if you can do so, you win. They're basically one shots. You could have somebody else play them again. Usually what I would suggest is use a different set of paper and pencils when it comes to writing stuff down if you would like to pass this on to somebody else. But otherwise, you just play through the game and then you're done with it. It's a pretty simple, pretty straightforward mini little mystery. Okay, so what do I think about a medieval mishap, this mini mystery series type of a game? Well, uh, this one here is, it is kind of an escape room in the sense that you have to solve puzzles and clues that get you from one progressionary point to the next. It's very different than a lot of other mystery games I've played or type of like uh, solve this clues and whatnot because this is gonna be a lot more puzzling. In the game, you're gonna have certain things like you'll need to take uh, this little page here and you'll be placing uh, down uh, certain tiles on certain locations based on rules. And there's a lot of different puzzles that have rules you need to follow and based on those rules, you'll solve the equation going step by step. Uh, there's puzzles that are going to involve certain pieces of paper that you're gonna be utilizing in the game, maybe more than once, twice, or even three times. So it will help you solve clues. And this one specifically is about you finding a specific knight that has taken one of the agents from your time traveling institution. And uh, you have to see what nefarious thing is going on or nefarious deed or plans, or maybe she just went on a vacation with this guy. You have to figure out and see in the story. But in order to do so, you have to narrow down the culprits. And you'll be asking people, you'll be going and like confronting people, utilizing the PC, utilizing the kind of app that it gives you. There's narrative storytelling that also has each unique uh, character voice for all the different characters in the game that you'll come with. And yeah, there's just a ton of different little puzzles. They're very simple and straightforward. This is definitely a family game. Yeah, um, from what my writer, who did 
one of these other mysteries and, and based on this one here, I can tell you that they're all definitely family games. They're stuff that you can solve quite literally with eh, younger teenagers and that while the puzzles are not super extremely challenging, they are a lot of fun and they bring a lot of brevity and life to the story. You feel like you're helping out the different townsfolk, solving information for them and thusly they give information to you, progressing you throughout the story, utilizing the map and being able to kind of like gain a little bit of knowledge and perspective as far like as as far as like um visual perception goes and like numbers and puzzles that are clues that will take you different destinations and locations it really really works well and while yes most of all this stuff is is paper they're all functioning in different ways you'll have different, different little keys that kind of change and you'll be utilizing them to solve other clues and mysteries and puzzles um and the game is straightforward you go from one step to the next which makes it nice it's colorful the art is excellent I love the different types of paper that they use throughout the game. It gives it kind of this old feel and some of it has a new feel because you're kind of a time traveler that kind of gets put back into this middle ages type of a thing. Um, it all comes in this little envelope here that gets sent, just sent directly to your house and you just open up and you can play. You'll have an hour of fun with as many people as you'd like. Anybody can play this game and work together. Somebody could be on the PC or you could be on your tablet. Now one small negative that I have to this game is that if you play on a small device like your phone, you might not be able to see everything that the app provides. There might not be a button that you can click because it's just too small of a screen. So you need a larger screen in order for this game to work out for you. Additionally, this has got a little bit less of an escape room feel and more of a puzzle feel. Solving word problems, number problems, solving little keys, that kind of thing. It fits more in the escape the game type of a genre that I would say going to an actual escape room itself. There's not uh, a whole lot of different things that are involving other than just mainly uh, cardboard slash paper that you're going to be utilizing for this game. That being said though, artwork is solid. The story is great. I love the narration. I love the fact that you utilize the PC which has its own portion to it and then you have all this stuff that works well with it. The puzzles are fun and it's great working in a group environment. You can play with younger people, you can play with older people and it's just a great enjoyable narrative experience. Overall though, Mini Mysteries as a series is really cool and this game specifically a medieval mishap was excellent and I very much so enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game A Medieval Mishap by the Mini Mysteries series. If you're looking to purchase one of these games, there's a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and take, take a look, check out what they've got going on. There's multiple games, I believe there's at least three on the website right now that you can take a peek at that all function differently and they have different stories and there's like a different difficulty meters and all that good stuff. And if you'd like to purchase them, you can go there. You can also go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button as well where you can see more of our videos we produce Monday through Thursday, Monday through Friday, plus a live stream on Sunday and Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. PST. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to delving into another mini mystery with you next time.